I'm at Craig City Academy. We're about to conduct the session on Colin, which is in the book, The Seven Principles of Respectism. Let's see how it goes on. Let's see how the young people take to the session. And let's see if the session makes them feel a little bit more and think a little bit more about the consequences of their actions. How did you feel the story went for you? Tell me. Go on, go on, go on. No, no, the story, uh, well, Colin's story. Colin's story is quite deep. Like, actually, it's one of the most important stories in the, the respect book that actually relates to the life on the street for youth in our generation. Right, I was going to say, it's Colin's story that like, influenced people like, to understand what, what the rules is really about. Like, you get me? People should. This is that story and why is it not? It kind of inspired me and it's kind of a coincidence because it's about consequences and I just came back from my exclusion so uh, it relates to me kind of. Okay, and, and will, it, will it make you think differently in the future? Yeah, definitely. It made, me, it made me think about the things I do and how it can affect other people and also the bit about carrying weapons. It's important that you shouldn't do it because it can push you in danger and people around you. Okay. Uh, it made me feel that yeah, sometimes yeah, before I do things, you yeah, have to think about the consequences. And and, and everything that I do yeah, is right. Some things I do yeah, talk and talk about people with That's what I learned. I found it was really inspirational as it um, gave me an insight into the consequences that could um, take place um, with certain actions. Also, it really made me feel that um, even the smallest actions that we take in our past experiences can have a very huge and large effect on our future whether it's for the negative or positive effect. How, how did the story make you feel and the exercises make you feel? Yeah, it has like a big effect on me because like back in the day how I used to be and everything. So like basically you're just telling me to just carry on what I'm doing. And that's it. Thank um, you. The story personally made me feel that I shouldn't let past experiences like dictate the present outcome. Like when things that people's gone through in the past they should learn from it and use it like, to make them do better, unlike what Colin did. As, as a teacher, Miss, how do, how, how do you feel that the, the, the story of Colin has impacted on these young men, seeing them conducting the session? Well, for me, seeing them embrace the story like that is quite touching because obviously they can relate to, to the material that's been provided and they're learning empathy by putting themselves into somebody else's shoes. Uh, for me, I love to see them learning from their mistakes. If you don't make mistakes, you will not learn. So it's a, it's a, it's a natural process. And, and, do, and do you feel that the, the, the story and the way it was delivered connected with the pupils? Definitely, otherwise you wouldn't have had any feedback back or contributions from them. They'd be lost. And, and what was great is when the bell went, what happened? They were still sat, still focused and still willing to learn. The session is just finished. You've just seen how some of the young men have just been discussing how the session has impacted on them and made them think about their actions. The seven principles of respectism are real. They're real life stories which show these young men in, and young women in real ways how these seven areas can affect their life. I'm really pleased and, and, and empowered that I've had a part in taking both in this book and I look forward to, to working with these young men and young men around the country to empower them even further.